Wanna learn Figma in five minutes? Then check out this video. When you open up a design file, the first thing you see is pretty much nothing. And across the top left, you have access to all your tools. And also on the right hand side, you have access to alternative tools. And again, on the left hand side, we do have different pages that we can have. We can have assets. We can close this up as well. But in the pages is where we will work. And the first thing you want to do when you enter Figma is to add a frame. And the easiest way to do that is either by pressing A on your keyboard or F on your keyboard or in the top corner here you can have access to it too. So you can just draw out your own size frame if you wanted to and then change the sizes here or you are able to choose a preset of different sizes. So you have one for phones and you have one for desktop tablet and so on. Right now I'm going to go with an iPhone 14 and on this iPhone 14 I can rename this frame one I can also copy this over as well and call that frame two. Once you have a frame, the first things you want to do is start building things up with shapes. You can obviously just use the circle tool or maybe the rectangle tool, or you can build in frames. Now let's say if you wanted a button, we could add in a, another frame and we could change the color of that frame over here. So let's say we wanted a nice green color. We could also round this off as well to like 30. Let's change that to about D6. So we have a nice button shape. We can also add in some text as well. Sign up on this button. Whoop. Figma <laughs> is telling me they've spelled that wrong. <laughs> so we can have sign up. We can also change the color to that. We can change it to a white. We can change this to a 24. Now the good thing about this button is, unless we right line that, and call this button, we can add in auto layout. Now I do have a video all about auto layout on my channel. So for some of you interested in, there's a link in the description below or there's a link in the card above. And add auto layout. I can then do 16, 16 and 16. Or should we go 24? 24. There we go. To make sure this button is perfect, right? So we put the sign up button there and let's say we put it over here and we can change the color to it. So we'll change it to blue. Let's say we wanted to add in prototyping. We can definitely do that up here. Click prototype. And when you click prototype, these little arrows come up to tell you what you can link together. You can click here, add in an arrow, which says that this is going to on tap, tap, which means to touch with your finger. We want to navigate to frame two, which is this one. We definitely want that. We can either have it to instant, dissolve, smart animate, move up and down, you know, we can slide it in from left to right. There's so many things you can do with this. So we're just going to have it in for instant for now. Then in the top right hand corner, we're going to press play. When we hit play, it's going to load and we can do a little click and the button changes. We can do as well if we wanted to is to animate it back so we can keep clicking this button and it will change color. Now that's the basics of Figma. So if you just wanted to design things, that's pretty much what you just do. So you've just learned Figma in under five minutes. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. And if you did, then please let me know in the comments below. If you have any more questions about Figma and how to use it, then please let me know. I also offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions as well, where I can take you through Figma properly and teach you anything that you may want to hear. So more advanced things and more things you can do and actually achieve with Figma if that's something you're interested in again there's a link in the description below and i also have a newsletter called handover where i send out ux related content every single month so if something you're interested in again there's a link in the description below and that's it until next time bye